Coach Leach talked about the, the strides that Willie Taylor has made. He, he looks faster. Where, where else do you think he's gotten better since last year? He was pretty good last year. Too. I think he had a good starting point last year. Yeah, I think I think he's got stronger in the way. Really did a good job. Coach Brown, those guys, and they did a great job with him uh, in the off season, trying to put a little weight on him, and then uh, that would just hopefully give him some the ability to to counter his moves, not just speed all the time. Do you, do you think the play he made at the end of the Alamo Bowl is one of the more undersung plays of the game? You, most people look at the touchdowns and everything else that happened on offense, but he made the, the key stop that, that crunched the win for you guys, the yeah. 11 win. I'd say our defense made the key stop. You know, he was part of it, but the corner leveraged it outside in, and he came inside out like he's taught and did his job, you know, within the confines of the call. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, he, he, it's, a, it's a good play for him, but it's a good play for the defense overall. Coach, I'm curious if there was any lobbying done on your part to get Travion Brown in with the rushes rather than the inside backers. Uh, Travion's a great player. You know, either way, whether he plays for us inside or outside, I mean, I think at some point in his career he'll he'll probably come off the edge some and, and be inside. He's that's just a credit to his athletic ability and what he can do. So, uh, no, we, we want to put our best eleven out there, however it is. And it seems like the you know, and since you took over from special teams, the special teams productivity really took off. Granted, you. Know, Adding a guy like Oscar and, and you know having Blake r really helps. But is there something you know, maybe philosophical or culturally that you did with the special teams that kind of really changed the the direction? Well, I think we, we try to make sure we get buy-in across the board with all our, our pro players. Doesn't matter whether they're three or two or one on the offense or defensive depth chart, and and that really is not me. That's Coach Leach. You know, starts at the top, and then our staff has done an awesome job working alongside me with it and. and uh, preaching the importance of it and so with that I mean I think it's a group effort across the board and then when you're trying to decide for the punt team gunners what what do you look for in your ideal gunner yeah speed I mean it's pretty simple yeah I want speed I want a guy that can get out get out of a press and all those types of things and, and then hopefully make a play on the ball but ultimately if you can go force a fair catch you don't have to go with tackle so it starts with speed first have you liked, you know, you guys rep special teams a lot, and that's obviously a big part of the practice. Have you liked what you've seen so far from the people running at Gunner and everyone else in the special teams? I think we're heading in the right direction. I think we're heading in the right direction. I thought the scrimmage was a good indication of just a starting point, and, and we've got to continue to build on it. Five-eye uh, transitioning to rush. What do you like so far about that uh, position? He gets off the ball well, you know, and he's he plays with some violence, and uh, he's a natural pass rusher to a degree. He did that more in high school is what I understand. Coach Nickel recruited him, and that's what he told me. So uh, it's been a, a pretty smooth transition for him overall. So he's obviously going to continue to work and develop, but I, I'm really happy with where he's uh, starting out right now. Is there room to play three guys there between him and Ron? And so really, do you think you could rotate three rushes? Right I do, now? I do, because of the different packages we can do, and you know, throwing them all in and things like that. I absolutely think there's a role for all those guys. Do you foresee? Many, even maybe later in the season, Dom somehow working back in, or you think he's pretty much over with the, with the inside backers? I think it's the same thing I said early on about Trayvon. I think it's our best 11 on the field, so however that shakes out. You know, I, uh, right now those guys are in my room, uh, Vi and, and Willie and, and RJ, you know, and so those are the guys we're going to roll with at Rush, but uh, you never know throughout the season you know, how it's all going to shake out. What do you take from today's practice specifically? No, I just think, again, we, we were very consistent with our energy uh, defensively, so we got to continue to work on that and uh, running the ball and those types of things. Special teams-wise, I thought we executed pretty well. Got to see it on, on tape, kickoff return. There's a lot of pieces going on there, but uh, I think it's, again, a, a good starting point. We just got to continue to improve and see improvement every single rep, every single day. No waste any of those. Have you ever watched the, the NFL or, or not show the HBO show that they've, they've I've worked. seen a few episodes of different seasons. I've never sat there and watched the whole season or anything, but I know what it is. But there's obviously conversations about them possibly bringing a college type show to, to Pullman this fall. Would, would, you, would you be receptive of that? Do you think that would be good for the program exposure and kind of spreading your guys' name? I think you can look at it two ways. I think it helps our exposure from a recruiting standpoint. And then, uh, you know, the other part of it is just letting them in the doors, you know, there's some things that, that obviously you want to keep in house. So there's a give and take to all of it. If people could perceive it as a distraction, but you guys seem to handle the college game day experience pretty well last year. Do you think something like that would prepare you guys to, to handle a hard knock type show? I, I think whether hard knock shows up through these doors or not, I think Coach Leach does that, a good job of setting tone on that, whether we handle distractions or not. And, and our staff tries to reinforce that for them. So I don't think that's going to have any impact one way or the other on that, if that makes sense. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Coach.